Vienna. Vienna. Today we're doing our Christmas episode because it's December. Yay. It is December. Wow. It's the most happiest time of the year. It's the most magical time of the year. Today we're going to be making vegan gluten-free Christmas cookies. Yes, and vegan gluten-free vanilla frosting. Yay. Uh, we're going to make our ingredients magically appear. One, two, Trace! What? That's bad. What? Santa must have made this appear! Today, we are going to be using organic coconut oil, unsweetened organic applesauce, vanilla extract. If you're gluten free, please make sure it's marked so you don't get sick. Yep. And brown rice flour. And vegan cane sugar, flaxseed, a little baking soda, mark gluten free. Ground flaxseed. Yes. We have some xanthan gum and some pink Himalayan salt. And baking pants! Oh, our pants? Baking pants. Baking cheese. So, we will be making the snickerdoodles from the amazing Baby Cakes Cookbook by Erin McKenna, and we're gonna be making the snickerdoodles minus the cinnamon because we're frosting them. Yep. Here we go! We are going to add two cups of brown rice flour into our pink mix. We're going to add one and one third cups vegan cane sugar. We're going to add a fourth of a cup of ground flax meal. And we're going to add one teaspoon each of baking soda, xanthan gum, and salt. Awesome. So once the dry ingredients go in, we'll give it a little mix to mix it all together. One cup of melted coconut oil, and make sure you melt it before you measure it. A half a cup of sweet applesauce. And then we're going to have two tablespoons of vanilla extract. We want it to be drier, so we might have to add a bit more, like a tablespoon or two more of flour. Maybe add the cookie dough, the delicious, amazing cookie dough that we have not been eating, to a plastic bag, and it's going to sit in the fridge for at least an hour. And why is it going to do that, Virginia? So that it solidifies, so that we may mold it into magical shapes. All right. Our dough is complete. Yay! Our dough is and now it's going to sit in the fridge and hang out there for one hour. Oh, we I'm are moving making... on to the frosting. We are making frosting. Yay! From my girl G Pals, Gwyneth Paltrow's cookbook. It's all good. AKA Goop, which is obviously much loved. Uh, I make everything from this, and she has the same food allergies as us. Ooh! Woo. Yay! Food, food allergy, allergy friends. Now, here we have tapioca starch, and we have organic. Shortening. We have raw agave nectar and we have vanilla extract. Now we're just gonna put them in the blender, blend it up. Okay, so now it's time to put all the frosting ingredients in there. So first we're gonna go two cups of organic shortening. This is Spectrum brand. Gear in there. Tapioca starch. Exactly one cup. Tapioca starch has a weird texture, but it's great for frosting. Now we're gonna have one cup of agave. This is a little pour. Dramatic effect. Yes. Insert dun, dramatic dun. music, perhaps. And it is a mix-in. Woo! Yeah! We use beet juice, pomegranate juice, and if you want to do green, you can even get fancy and do chlorophyll a little bit, and that makes it green. We don't have that, so we're just gonna be red. Yay! We're just gonna do it a little bit at a time so we can get the right color. So we're just gonna keep adding some beet juice until it's the right consistency. Mm. It's pretty, Mommy. Okay, now it's really pink. Brown rice flour, rolled it out to about a quarter inch thick, 
And now we're using cute little shapes. We have snowmen and hearts and stuff. And Christmas trees! And we're cutting them out and we're gonna go ahead and place them on a baking sheet. Okay, so now these are gonna go in the oven at 325. And we're gonna check it after eight minutes and please make sure to grease your pan. Grease your pan! The finished product! Yay! Yay! And I'll press it with sprinkles and um, I'll conserve my candy cans. I'm gonna bite this snowman's head. I'm gonna eat one. Can we cheers? Yeah, let's cheers. I want my heart. I want, I want your heart. He's my heart.